Good morning, Keller Williams. It is time for another edition of MCTT's Unleashed. I can't find my button over here. So are we on that season was my... three yet? No, not yet. No, it feels like I've it, got though. the pet lip out. We're going to explain why. We're 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 seven episodes in, and we were fifteen minutes into an amazing episode and realized that we were not live. <laughs> That's why Peter's pouting. But that's okay. If you hung out with us, hopefully you're still around or you just got noticed that we went live. That would be awesome, too, if you're with us now. Uh, we do have one. Appreciate you. We're doing Facebook ads today, so stick around because we're going to do lead gen. <laughs> we we're are. Gonna, we're going to show how to beat the big big Z. We are doing Facebook ads, and we're going to have some fun with that today. Um, It's going to be uh, – we're going to show you some ways that – that you can be in charge of your own internet lead generation, which is awesome. So like we said, Facebook ads in command and we're going to jump into our culture moment. That is myself with the lovely Mo Anderson, who is the heart and soul of Keller Williams culture. Just an absolutely lovely lady. And today it is to be the real, it's our vision and it's to be the real estate company of choice for agents and their customers. And when we were not live, I had this amazing elevator speech and I don't know if I can re <laughs> redo it, but we're going to try. So what does that mean? Well, Gary Keller, our awesome leader has, uh, has invested a lot of time and, and money. cash into this awesome product called command <clears throat> which is proprietary software to set us apart from the competition to better serve the agents so that we can better serve our customers. And I think that about sums up to be the real estate company of choice for agents and their customers. And our culture goes a long way in that too. When you have agents that are full of culture, that trickles through to how they treat their customers as well. And each other. Yeah, absolutely. Which is important. Right? Yeah, because I mean, you know, I hear a lot with real estate agents that they, they get really frustrated with other agents mm -hmm. who aren't doing things the way they're meant to be done. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't hear that as often, in fact, hardly ever about our Within agents. Our own company, yeah, yeah, I think I yeah. think our culture has a massive impact on how we seek first to understand, understand. Yeah. and uh, always create a win win. And these things become what's the word? Uh, not, uh, endemic seems to come right, but they come built in to right. how we behave. Yeah, like is is this native, really everyone, inherent yeah, native? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, um, cool. yeah, and like for me, uh, you know, I'm I look at the the realtor Facebook groups, you know, from time to time, oh. like like uh what is it you um, shouldn't, you know? No, I know you I should shouldn't. stay out of them. I, 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 this, <laughs> there was one yesterday that I saw that was the, the the person making the post had copied the text messages that they'd had with another agent yeah. and posted them I in, saw in a that. big group. I saw yeah. that. Yeah. I was like, are you joking? I think it's Real Estate Mastermind is that was the it. one that yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. And also, some of you um, who know me from this podcast and, and may be friends with me on Facebook know that I put a, a post out a, maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago, because I had been on that same group and just saw all the, I didn't, I didn't comment. I didn't no. go in there because it just, that opens up a can of worms, but just reading through it and all the bashing from agent to agent about their brand and their, uh, them as people, it's just, it's so ugly. I, I, what I you see when I first, well, not first, but when I came to America and then joined the NAR, mm -hmm. I quickly realized the NAR has a culture. Yeah. Which is which is, you know, to get the highest and best offer for the client. Um it's your patriotic duty was terms that they used at the NAR. Really? And the way we treat each other, mm -hmm. like never be disparaging towards another agent. Well, it's but where's that gone? I mean, I, I only got my American license, what I can't remember now, um ten maybe eight, ten years ago, something mm -hmm. like that. Um <laughs> and and back then I feel that that was at the forefront, but now it just seems like a feeding friends yeah. you know everyone's just attacking 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 we need to get rid of that culture well that's what that's what actually sets realtors apart from real estate agents because you can be a real estate agent and not be a realtor if you don't know that yes however to be part of an mls the mls's require you to be part of the national association of realtors and being a realtor means that we have a code of ethics and one of the items in that code of ethics 
is like Peter just said, to treat our fellow agents to with them courtesy and kindness and respect and not yeah. be disparaging and all that stuff. And there's agents that break that every day. Absolutely. Yeah. So anyway, anyway positive. Yes. Let's be positive. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so. so the objective today is to learn how to create Facebook ads, Facebook ad campaigns in command. And uh, campaigns is what we call our paid ads in command. Uh, whereas a lot of other CRMs, if you've used another CRM in the past, campaigns typically are what we refer to as smart plans. That's your system, your systematic follow-up. Yeah, right? and so today is 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 normally it's about the how. Mm -hmm. This is we're gonna show you the how because some people may not know how to deploy an ad, but today is gonna focus on the what. What do you put in that ad? Yeah to attract the right people. And using this strategy won't get you the most number of leads, but it'll get you higher quality leads, yeah, which is what matters. Yeah, that's what so I'm we're going after. With. We're going after quality, and we're going to teach you the what to say within the ad itself, the calls to action, the, the different places that you can put text, how a person reads that ad, yeah. and, and the, the, um, the uh, uh, photography is, is so important. Quality photographs matter in these types of ads. Yeah, for sure. A agents, please stop taking your real estate property photos with your iPhone. Yeah, upside Con down. <laughs> yeah. Benefits control. So our benefits are to control your own. You'll be able to control your own internet lead generation. And you will generate leads that are exclusive to you on your budget. And what that means is, is that when those leads come in, they are yours exclusively. They're not then going off to, you know, the next Zillow agent, the next realtor.com agent, whatever. They will live and die with you. Now, that's not to say that that lead that comes in wasn't also on Zillow and realtor.com. So you might be sharing that lead, but at least is how it comes into your CRM command. Yep. Hopefully. Um, they, those live and die with you. And then on your budget, no contracts, you set the budget that you want, whatever you're comfortable with at the time. So, and you generate leads. So from talking there. of budget, I want to get something out of the way. Yeah. It's going to cost you about 200, maybe even $400 to get one closing. So you need about 100 leads. If you diligently follow up quickly with mm -hmm. the speed to lead, you need about 100 people to talk to to create enough conversations that will actually lead to meetings, appointments, and then ultimately to either um, purchase of a property or the sale of a property. And remember, the sellers are hidden in the buyer leads. Right. Because most people, about 60%, 40% uh, of them are first-time buyers, people who are um, buying a second property, people who've already sold who don't have a property to sell, but they're looking to buy. So they're fine. They're, they're buyer leads. Nothing wrong with that. But the 60%, there's two sides. They've got a house to sell and they're going to buy. Mm -hmm. So the productivity can be quite high from those leads. And we're going to show you a way to attract them. But my point is, you, you don't want to get into this thinking, oh, these are $1, $2 leads. They're not. They're $200, $300, $400 leads. Because 99% of them are going to be unproductive, which is fine. Because the alternative is to go to Zillow or Realtor.com and say, give me the 1%. Yeah. Give me that person. And they'll say, sure, I want a third of your income. Yeah. Right? And, that, and that's just the nature of internet leads, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's a 1% one, one to 2% return. Like, that's the conversion ratio yep. typically, and that's average. Yep. So yep. You, you can do better with the right systems and model. You can do better. But let's just be honest. It's very hard to do that. So if we work on 1%, if you can get your lead cost down mm -hmm. and you still have 100 leads for, say, $2 per lead, you spent two hundred dollars to find that one productive conversion. That's still better than paying three and a half thousand dollars right. in a referral fee, which affects everybody because right. you're really giving away your broker's money. That's another point to it. Mm -hmm. It's not just costing you as an agent to do business that way. You're saying to your broker, "Well, I'm only bringing seventy-five. Well, actually, sixty-five percent to the table now, mm -hmm. which that has an impact in the industry." Yeah. So, so my my vision for this is for you to be able to self-generate your own leads and be way more profitable in doing so. And that's awesome. a key point. So, Peter, you sound like you know what you're talking about. I know that you know what you're talking about. For those of our audience out there that may have not ever seen us before or aren't aware, can you just kind of just give a little brief snippet of how you're so well-versed? Like the well, ratios, I, in the I last, know you've done a lot of leads. In the last five 
years, I've generated about 150,000 social media leads and probably 30, 40,000 Google ads yeah. leads. So I've, I've, I've done the, I've failed forward. Mm -hmm. I've, I've done every single style of ad I can think of. I've worked out which of those actually convert to business and how to deploy the right ad just, just natively. So um, I've spent an awful lot of money, my own money and, you know, on behalf of agents to, mm -hmm. to find a way to do this. Awesome. So, so you, you are getting a genuine value by watching this episode. Absolutely. Cause you, you're getting all of that experience that we built up from multiple agents over a number of years. Yep. So, so he, stay tuned. Yeah. He stay knows tuned. what he's talking about for sure. All right. So always bringing it back to the 201 plus club, which says that at 201 or more, healthy contacts that are being followed up with in a systematic way, meaning they're on at least one smart plan, monthly neighborhood nurture, bi-weekly neighborhood nurture, whatever that is, right? That at 201 or more contacts, your GCI is at $119,000 thereabout. And then from there, the more contacts you add, the higher that GCI goes. And that's why we're talking about Facebook ads, because it's a great way to build your data bank. Yeah. Right? But just to be honest, with 200 leads, you're not going to get 119,000 in commission. So what no. this is referring to, this is met contacts mm -hmm. that you have a systematic follow up with. Correct. So, it's, so this doesn't it's your mean leads. Sphere, it's your sphere. Yeah. It's professional contacts. It's, it's the kind of outer sphere, if you like, the people mm -hmm. that you have. Uh, a connection with it might be a banker or it might be uh, someone at the gas station it might be a mechanic yeah so this this is building up that that core of your business what you can then do is pour on top of that like gasoline more leads right but you're looking at, at 100 leads per conversion so sure. if you want to do <clears throat> I, I mean i'd have to do the math but if you want to if you want to do an extra 10 sales from this you're going to need a thousand leads right right but to generate a yep. thousand leads is really easy mm -hmm. really easy all right. Awesome. So I believe it is time to demonstrate and I am going to give the controls to my trusty colleague here. We'll see how he does driving today. He's been well, getting better and better. Yeah, I'm not even sure where to go right now. So we, have we got the... So you're going to go down to present. We are. We're going to click on the present button down here at the bottom. Yep and share screen share screen and then now you got... like to do it by sharing entire screen don't you yeah and switching over yeah because we've lost people in tabs before so you got to click on actually click the image of the screen there you go share and then we'll go to that command tab there we go right so we are in a kw command account which belongs to the uh nearest and dearest to brett mm -hmm. um so what she, going she changed she changed her name in my phone like not her name but like instead of it just having like you know we i don't know i had like the job because it was very formal because it was out of my database so it also says the most beautiful girl in the world now under uh, her name, which i agree with oh uh, that's sweet um Oops, sorry hit I'm the throw hit the hide down <laughs> Can't take that out. <laughs> Hit the hide button down there. Hide. Yeah, there there we go. Right. right. So over on the left-hand side, we have a number of icons. And if you click the KW red button up here, it will open it up so you can see what they all mean. So they're kind of uh, intuitive. So when we run a Facebook ad, it is a campaign. So we're going to go to campaigns, which I'm going to click that. And then in here, we have dashboard, we have paid ads, so you can review the ads that you've done before. There's email campaigns, the direct mail for postcards, and then there is a social media calendar, which a lot of people aren't aware of. You can schedule out your posts ahead of time, even months and months ahead, so there's lots of great features. But what we're gonna do here is click on create campaign. Then we're gonna for a paid social ad. And then we're gonna give the campaign a name. So we're gonna call it I'll just call it lead generation. This wire in front of me. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is select what we're doing here. So we're going to advertise a listing. So we'll click that. 
then we're going to click the um, places that you can run the campaign. So you can run it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm just going to click Facebook just for now. And coming soon is TikTok. TikTok ads coming soon. Yes. Coming soon. Ryan. Yes. Oh, you day. Give her rear rats rear end about TikTok. Yes. So I'm going to select one of the properties. Um, this Wyola will be fine. So I'm going to select it. And this is going to put together what my ad looks like. I've got the main copy, the headline, the description to complete. And then down below, there's other settings, the media, which is the photograph. The Facebook settings is the page we're going to publish the ad on. And the lead settings is, is how we're going to attract the lead. And then finally, the duration and budget. So what I found is a what actually works the best is replacing this image with a multiple image, which okay. you would make in Canva, mm -hmm. or just on Pixomatic I've got on my iPhone. So basically, it creates a collage. Yep. And you put a picture of the front of the house to the left. Okay. You put a picture of the nicest interior shot at the top. Then down below, you put a picture of the rear of the house and then any community features. So you might have a community pool. Right. If you can get a pool in the picture, you're going to get more leads. People, people are or interested waterfront. in what, waterfront. Right. Yeah. yeah. So the more attractive you make that. But it works just fine with one single image of a property because people are intrigued to see more. Uh -huh. So I'm going to do something which goes against the grain. I'm going to put the price in. So and why put, is that important, Peter? Well, we don't want lucky lose, right? Who are just right. trying to find the price and then realize it's not in their price range. And that's what you were talking about, about getting Quality. more qualified. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to get less leads doing this, but it's going to be people who are actually in that price range. Mm -hmm. So I'm just doing as an example if this was 399. I'm not sure how much. I'll it give is. it to it's 325. Okay. We may as well be accurate, right? So then I put uh, for sale three twenty five. I put a little now. You know you came up with the carrot remark. Yes. What's so, that called? I don't know. A stick, vertical line. A stick, <laughs> a stick. lollipop. <laughs> a vertical line. <laughs> so it's in Port Charlotte, right? Or yes. It North uh, it's Northport. Okay. What we're giving them is as much information as possible for them to self qualify mm -hmm. that they're the right person for this property. Because I don't want you getting a lead and the guy goes, oh, I did click on it, but it was in Northport and we're really looking in, um, you know, in wherever, Port Charlotte, Port, Port Port Lucy, it is, yeah. right? So you, you, you can't really help them. It might be a referral opportunity. Possibly. Sure. But I'm trying to find people who are actually interested in the market that we've got. That's so, true, but you also bring up a good point. If you do end up with a stray, it's yeah. a referral opportunity, oh, oh. right? I have said, this is my game plan, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like everyone has to have a parachute. Right. Like when you're a working a golden, in a job, a golden you've parachute. got to have an exit, right. right? So mine is just to set up a referral network, mm -hmm. run ads all across the country, yep. Texas, California, wherever, right. run ads, create referral opportunities, go into the referral network on command mm -hmm. and send them out with a 25% referral on yeah. it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm telling you, I I'm, well anyway. It's a great, it's a great way it's for a business in a box. It's a it business in a box, and it's also yeah. a, a way to um, still work in retirement. You know what I mean? You could still work in retirement and have a great opportunity that way, not have to work too hard, but actually do the work that a lot of agents don't want to do. A lot of agents don't want to do this in retirement. Yeah. See, my idea of retirement <laughs> sitting up on a beach somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, margaritas come to mind, right? <laughs> yeah, I know, but you can't do that anymore. <laughs> I know. Well, I can have a non alcoholic margarita, <laughs> that's true. So, so my idea of retirement is going on like a three month cruise, yeah. not actually doing any work whatsoever. Because right. what I've realized is as you get older, one year is is you know, one fiftieth, mm -hmm. say, or one sixtieth of your life, a year is nothing. Yeah, And you might be fitting well for six or seven or ten years if you're very lucky. Mm -hmm. So the idea of having to work in retirement is just like, no. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying rob a bank or anything, but it's tempting, right? Uh, yeah. just, you, need, you, need, you need some cash. <laughs> no, we are, we are not advocating for that. No. Um, I'll tell you what. I got the opportunity to teach my chat GPT class in Marco Island yesterday, and I had never been to Marco Island before. 
Um, it is absolutely beautiful down there. So my buddy, John McLeod, who recently became the team leader of that office, uh, invited me to come down and teach. Uh, I was actually the guest speaker in the middle of their team meeting. So it was awesome. Met some amazing agents down there, built some, you know, started some new relationships, which uh, I always love about traveling to the other Keller Williams offices. And Marco Island is just, it's like heaven. I don't like, know where it is. Is it south of here it's, or not? It's, so it's off the south coast of Naples. Oh. Yeah. It's like, you know, there's the it's last... It's got to be hot, though. I mean, it's hot here. It was it was hot, but it's hot everywhere. Yeah, but it's really hot down where there. Where are you going to go to any tropical island that's not hot? Well, the thing is, that my... I, I, I don't like heat. I, <laughs> I know you don't. You, when I, you come from a rainy, dreary little well, island I had yourself. A, I had a DNA <laughs> test done, and I was 23% Scottish, 66% Irish. So <laughs> so I'm used to being bathed in liquor. <laughs> and, I was say, that explains a lot of the past. <laughs> yeah, bathed, bathed in, in beer uh, in the dark. So this, gotcha. you know, I came to Florida, and you know what it did do? It it you get this thing called seasonal affective disorder in Europe because mm, yeah. you're so far north. People don't realize Halifax in England, which is in mm. the middle of England, is further north than Halifax, Nova Scotia. Hmm. Right. So where I lived was further north than Halifax, Nova Scotia. At three o'clock in the afternoon, it would be pitch black. Really? In the in the winter. Holy cow. Pitch black. Yeah. You get up in the morning, it'd be pitch black. So yeah. you'd have like six hours of daylight. And it wasn't even daylight, it was gray light. It was just <laughs> drizzle and i spent three days there and it was yeah. freaking raining the yeah, entire time it's, it's depressing so i was very pleased when i got to florida and the weather was great but <laughs> since i've got here it seems to have got like it, humid really humid this summer anyway, started off very hot. let's look at our ads so the benefits of it so what we're saying is it's not for rent it's for sale so we mm -hmm. want to put that in yeah we because want, we want to clarify that too yep yeah, so it's right? not rental it's a house for sale it's 325 so we want people interested in that price point We've got the location, we've got the beds, the baths, and a feature. Now, this may have some other features, like a new roof. Or it, it does. May, yeah, so you could have large land. Yeah. Now, we only have a little bit of space. There's mm -hmm. actually a limit to the number of characters. 250. 250. So we've kind of got what we need there. Um, it's cutting off with complete with cathedral. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's cutting off with. So we're good with that. That looks great. We've got the page is showing up as the Bishop Group of Keller Williams Realty, so we know who's advertising it. Um, Having Keller Williams Realty is legally required. Yeah, your business page Gotta should in include compliance. the brokerage name. Mm -hmm. So we're going to ha have a headline and a description. So the headline is going to be click because we're going to tell them what to do. Learn more to see thirty plus photos. That's all you got, buddy. Oh, Twenty-five characters. See, I don't, Click learn more. That's what we're going to have. Yeah. Right. Actually, I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to put that in the description That's box. That's what I do too. And then I'm yeah. going to put the headline. I'm going to put the for sale part. Yeah. So I'm going to put just listed. Let's see if I can get North Port in there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. Right here, we're going to put click learn more. So here's what I do right there. The click learn more right after the learn more. I actually use the right pointing finger emoji to draw attention to where that learn more button is. Yeah. Now there is an emoji feature on this, um, which I'm going to use right now. Um, and info Oops, and info. So it's basically a call to action and we want to put, I don't know if I can do this with this. Look at all these little emoji men. You can actually go to the search and like if you're looking for something specific. I'm like, looking for hands. There he is. Yeah. This is this is the one you're yep. recommending. Mm -hmm. Not the middle finger one. No, definitely. Because it the is up finger. above. <laughs> it definitely it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the button's up above. That would be ideal. <laughs> That's how innocent I just got back from church. <laughs> right. There we go. So uh, we got a little picture saying literally what to do. Yeah. The reason we're doing this is because when someone looks at an ad, they look at the picture first they then look at this top corner here they then go down to here and then finally they go to the learn more it's in a sequence it's really crazy so we want to and if you if you do it you look at it you go yeah read 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 mm -hmm. ah so facebook know that the right hand side is where to put the button what we're doing is we're saying click the button yeah. because subconsciously we're speaking to that consumer's mind we've got a sixth of one second 
to to get this message into them and say click this button otherwise we've wasted our money right well we haven't so you don't spend any money unless they click <laughs> which is good but wasted our time certainly yeah so this is what a good ad looks like it's descriptive it has the price it has the status of the property it has a feature of the property which stands out it has a call to action which is the click learn more and it has a big bold statement saying what it is mm -hmm. just listed north park i love how you quantify the um photos too yes the number of photos that they'll get yeah because they don't know right right they don't know and and that's what they want to see they want to see more information so we're going to click save then we've got some basically what we're trying to do is get all green check marks into one two three four five things did you know did you know on a daily basis the average person scrolls the height of the statue of liberty on their phone each day no i didn't know that but i'm not surprised yeah well it's about six inches across 5.7 or 5.1 yeah. over six inches one scroll two scroll is a foot Mm -hmm. It's not that many to get to the top of the statue. Yeah. So basically, we would all be stood in front of the Statue of Liberty going like that, <laughs> up it. <laughs> That's how much information people consume in a day. That's crazy. So we, we're like putting this ad, a sticker, six mm -hmm. inches tall on the top of the Statue of Liberty right. and hoping right. somebody notices it. So yeah, targeting matters, and we're going to get into that right now. Interesting when you put it in that perspective. So Facebook settings, we're going to configure that. This is going to ask where we're going to place this. So it's going to be Brett Bishop's account. Now, the actual ad account that we use is the KWRI ad account. We're just mm -hmm. giving them money and saying run this ad, which yeah. is why it takes 24 hours. KWRI works like a middleman, whereas if you're using... I guess a huge discount. Right. Whereas if you're using the Facebook ads manager in Facebook, it's kind of a... You, there is no middleman. However, for most people, not Peter, but myself included... I find the Facebook ads manager an absolute nightmare. It's confusing. Yeah. So you select your page. Then here, destination. This is vital. Very, very important. Everybody I work with clicks this because yep. they think I'm sending them to my website. It that makes, will turn off your leads. It makes sense for those that don't know right so if, if you're not going to a class with your market center tech trainer about ad campaigns or you haven't been to any kind of training about it whatsoever you you naturally think well yeah of course i'm sending them to a website or a landing page so that's what i'm going to click yeah but that's not what that means that means where are you collecting that person's information are you collecting it from a facebook lead generation form which or you should on your site or, or are you sending them to a site or landing page where they will then have to enter their information in 99.999 percent of the time you don't no agent's going to do that no. there's very specific reasons why an agent would send them to a site or landing page and this is not one of those well as if you don't want to generate leads so let's say you're advertising an open house mm -hmm. and you want to put the least barriers of entry into that advertisement you would select site landing page open house this is the date and time turn up i've got cookies right right mm -hmm. or mimosas whichever you want to do right depends which mark if you're in marco island it'll be mimosas. <laughs> it does, that's for sure so and caviar I yeah it's a little <laughs> That, I never, I've never eaten it. I have. Oh, it's just vile, I imagine. <laughs> it just tastes like a bunch of mushy salt. Beluga whale eggs or something. Anyway, <laughs> yep. so a site landing page is a big no for lead generation. You want to use the Facebook lead generation yeah. form, which is designed by Facebook. It's secure. It gives people peace of mind knowing that they're not really giving information out in a mm -hmm. uh, on a website, which may or may not be secure. This is a secured form. It pre-populates with their name, phone number, and email, which yep. has been confirmed with their account. You can't log into Facebook anymore without confirming your email and yep. getting a text message to your phone. So you know that they're real numbers. They may be fake numbers. They may be old yeah, numbers. They but have the they were real numbers. Well, yeah. they could be old numbers, but they also have the opportunity to change the information that pops up. So what happens when you do that is the the audience, whoever that person is clicking. They'll get a pop up from Facebook that says, this is the information we have for you. Is this correct? And they click um, yes, continue. And then it goes on uh, to your where you're taking them, which in this case is going to be, you know, your website, yeah. uh, whatever. Um, but what I wanted to say to this is and I totally forgot. Oh, you're having a BM. I am having a BM of what, what is lovingly referred to in our tech community as a Brett moment. Yep, lost it. That's all right. I'll see if it comes back. It's all cool. 
<laughs> I have plenty of those. Oh, I know what I was oh, going to say. Oh, there it comes. There it is. Yeah. See, the, the only time I can think of, just to give you out there an, an example of when you would use site or landing page, is if you're doing a client event and you need them to sign up for like an RSVP type situation, then you could send them to a landing page where they're going to put their information in because there's something specific. Or if I'm giving them an ebook for something like first time home buyers or something like that. Yeah, revert, but when reverse you're... bold 100 price drop. Exactly. You can create yep. a Google form, yep. put it on your KW site and have a price draw. The reason you want to do that is because you want the physical address where they live mm -hmm. so you can deliver the price. You can't get the physical address with a Facebook lead form. So right. there are instances for using it. But, but it's like it's like 0.01% of yeah. the time that you're using Facebook ads. So the next one is tempting to use sign up or oh, apply yeah. now. They're terrifying. Don't do that. Do those. not. That, that's high commitment level. We just mm -hmm. want to very calmly say, would you like to learn more? <laughs> learn more. <laughs> right. The next thing is choose landing page. No, we nope. want to send them to the page on the website. So we would go to. Um, Let's just show them. I'll take you there. Okay. So I'll go to new tab, the bishop group.kw.com. Okay, and then, um, yep, except on the cookies. And then there we can put in 2901 Wyola, W Y O L A Avenue, I think. Is it coming up? There it is. Okay. So, what we're doing is we're actually searching for the property on the website, mm -hmm. which we're advertising. Because a big mistake that agents make is they'll have the ad that has the property but then they send them to the front page of their website and expect that the, that the consumer is going to go search for it. You don't want to do that because it, it's, it's almost like a bait and switch, but you don't want to do that because you're actually not providing the value that you promised in the ad. So is this um, active, right? Yeah. Yep. So we're going to take this link. This is the URL for the property and we're going to copy it. And it's exclusive to that property. Yeah. And this is going to take, the, the viewer of the Facebook ad to your branded page. Mm -hmm. That's the key point. We're not sending them to kw.com. I've seen agents do that as well, yep. where the lead could then subsequently go to another agent. Yeah, it could go to another office, yep. whatever. Yeah. So definitely you want to include the link from your KW um, website. Right, so we're going to go back to the campaign. We're going to paste this link in, and it's going to test it. Now, it's quite easy to make another mistake here. It pre-populates with the HTTPS. Yeah. We don't need that, so I'm going to select it. I'm going to paste, and then a little wheel will spin just to confirm this page is valid. It takes a few seconds, but it will hopefully confirm it. Yes, it did. We've got did a green go? check mark. Right, the next part. So, auto audience. Now, if you want the cheapest, highest number of bad leads, use auto audience. Don't put the price in. Give them enough information to click, but really you don't know whether they're interested or they're mm -hmm. capable of buying. I'm trying to get you quality leads. Right. People who have seen the price, seen the beds and bathrooms, they don't want to surprise that it's only a two bed. Right. When they get there and they really need a three. Mm -hmm. So this is where we include those things. But what we're going to do is use a custom audience to target them. So we're going to click custom audience. Now, 25 miles is a bit big. I don't know if I can go any lower. Than the that. only the only reason I use twenty five for Northport is because it's a rural area, though, isn't it? Well, twenty five will pick up Punta Gorda, but twenty won't. Okay, right. So we'll leave it at twenty five. I actually live here, but I don't run ads here. I run them on the east mm -hmm. coast. It's maybe a little high density population. Yeah, it's over higher there. density. Yeah. Right. So I usually do a fifteen mile target to get people interested in say Port St. Lucie. Fifteen is the minimum you can run. So we're going to have United States, Northport, Florida. It's pre populated, twenty five mile radius. Now, we're going to add some interests. We want people who have recently been on that horrible big Z below. But why do we want that? Because we know they're actively searching for property, right? It's yep. like you said, it's more of a qualified lead. Yeah. Now, if they've been on the, the way these cookies work now, it, it's a little more restricted. I know Facebook changed some of the things. Mm -hmm. Apple phones changed some. But they still know if you've been on Zillow recently. Right. So now, for some reason, it's not loading. Hmm. That's just my look. I have not hardwired the connection here, so that could be why I noticed the Wi-Fi was working a little slow today. Yeah. Um, I'll fix that when I get back from vacay. 
Yes, I'll give it a second. Well, I'll redo it and see if we get a better look. Add interests. Yes, yeah, so I've got. Oh, there, there it goes. goes. Awesome. There we go. So we're going to target Realtor.com. Well, why wouldn't I want Realtor.com Pro? Because that's agents. Exactly. Yeah. So. Right. So we don't we don't want to go to Zillow Premier. Actually, comes up when you put it's in agents. Zillow, and now, you don't if, want any of that. If stuff. you're doing an open house and you want agents sure. to bring a buyer, yeah, yeah, absolutely, include agents. Or if it's some kind of referral ad that you're doing, you know, because you're trying to get referral business, you can do that too. Yeah, let's see if my Zillow comes up. Yeah, there see, it goes. So there's Premier Agent for Zillow and Trulia. You don't want that. No, That's only, only if you want to go in front of agents. agents. And interestingly, they've only got 70,000. Mm -hmm. um, let's have a look. We've got 34, 34 million, million in the Zillow recent users. Wow. But there's only 70,000 of those. So it's yeah. a pretty small audience. Scroll down and click save. And then the final one, I shouldn't give away this secret. I'll You're leave it up to you, buddy. Very privileged. To well, here, secret. here. Let's no, I'm going to do it. No, no. Let's do this. I'm let's do, no. Let's do this. Okay. For if you want the secret to the, to this, right? That Peter was just about to let out of the bag. If you want the secret, come over to the MCTT's Unleashed Facebook group. Join our Facebook group, and we will show you what the secret is over there. Okay, sounds good. There is another targeting category which I found really ramps up the quality of the lead. Mm -hmm. It's not obvious, doesn't on face of it can make complete sense, but it absolutely works. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna leave that as a So come uh, over to the Facebook group for that and uh request uh admittance or whatever they call it into our Facebook group. We'll get you in there and then we'll let you know what that is. So if you want to um save your audience you can do you don't have to but yeah, it just saves having to do it every time. Go ahead and do it. So we'll call Colors it North, Northport. Yeah, buyers for Northport or something like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we'll click save. And then I'm going to click save overall to save that section. We should get another green check mark. So we now have three green check marks. We're nearly there. Final one is lead settings. This is really important. It is. So this is what you're going to do with the lead. So Automatic lead routing. If you're on a team, this feature comes up. If you're not on a team, you won't even see this. But we're just going to use default automatic lead routing. That means it will send it based on the priority order listed in settings, which could be to go from one agent to another or round robin or various other uh, lead routing features. But we want to create a tag because we want to know where the lead came from. Mm -hmm. So I would actually put the address, which I forgot what it was. It's uh, 2901. Wyola. Wyola. W-Y-O-L-A. Yep. Yeah, so that's so you know where what the lead's interested in. So we're going to click that as a tag. And then I'm going to put Facebook lead. So you know where they inquired from. And where this is super helpful in being able to, now we're able to use two different tags is because we have our new advanced filtering that allows us to actually filter based on two tags because we have a lot different scenarios with filtering. Yeah. Whereas before, if I'd have put Facebook lead and 2901 Wyola, I would have gotten every Facebook lead that's ever had that tag. Yep. But now I can ask for it to just use those two tags exclusively. So another thing we can do is we can add a tag that says three bedroom. So when you're going through a new listing announcement, you get a new listing, you can say, right, I want everyone who's interested in three beds. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send them a bulk um, smart plan with the new property on it. Yeah. So three bedroom will have create new tag. That in red, some different colors. <coughs> Is it me or the colors changed again? The bolder. It, um, it's so, the contact tags that are these contact. Yeah, they are. I I hope that's the case. I hated those other colors. I think they've changed. They're, that's they're awesome. not pastel anymore. Thank you, KWRI. I hated those pastel colors. Yeah, they've gone back they to were horrible. Right. The next stage is we're going to want to send them a smart plan. So I usually use the eight by eight. I don't know if you've got that one in here. Um, um I don't know. I don't know because this is my wife's account. Okay, so, so, so we're just going to randomly uses. select a smart plan. Yeah. So we've got my Facebook listing lead smart plan. Uh, we've got a 36 touch Kimber Walton. That's a good plan. So let's just use that for now. Okay. So what this is going to do, if you set the smart plan up so that it sends a text message as the first trigger on the smart mm -hmm. plan, you can just put it in here. And when the person clicks on a the button, their phone will go ping. Yeah. 
just to be clear too, like Peter picked that just to pick that. Don't use the 36 touch by Kimber Walton for this. No. They are great smart plans, but not meant for this. I'm just using it as an example. Yeah, yeah, just using it as an example. I actually have smart plans that I've built out for this very specific scenario. So again, come over to the MCTT's Unleashed Facebook group and we can provide you with how to find uh, those smart plans that are specific to this type of ad. Yeah. So another recommendation. There is a recommendation. <laughs> we recommend 10-day campaign and a budget of $1 per channel. You have got to be kidding. It's not enough. We're in an auction. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're in the back of Beyond and you're, I don't know, w w w Amarillo or somewhere, where there's just not many agents, there probably is there, but, you know, a backward, sure. quiet yeah. place. Yeah, like somewhere in Montana in the middle of nowhere. Palatka. Is that in Montana? No, that's that, in Florida. That's the Florida. Yeah, it's over near Gainesville. I yeah. used to deliver car parts in Palaka. <laughs> Palaka is a cool little town, but yeah. you're right. Yeah, yeah, so there's like almost nobody there. Yeah, so if you're in Palaka, you can use a dollar a day. But if you're in a big metro like Orlando or the um, you know the the Brevard County, mm -hmm. uh, Tampa, whatever, you're going to have to compete with other agents. So you want to outbid them. So I would recommend fifty dollars as your budget. The hope is that you will get twenty five leads, so two dollars per lead. That's mm -hmm. the hope. It is totally variable. If someone's running a campaign at the same time as you, it's going to cost you more per lead. If, mm -hmm. per lead. if no one's running any campaigns around you, you're going to be cheaper. It's, yeah. a, it's an auction. You're bidding for the space on the Statue of Liberty. Okay. That's what you're doing. I love that analogy. Now, the 10 days is too long. Because is it? the amount of money that you're spending per day is only $5. Okay. So I would reduce this to seven days. Okay. Which we're on the... What the heck are we on now? We, no so way. you'd have to start it... On the 15th. What's the date today? 14th. Yeah, today's the 14th. So no, a, today's the 13th. So we're on to run it to the 21st, which is seven days. Okay. So what we're doing is we're bumping up the spend per day to give us more opportunities. Because we want to get more than three leads a day, right? Yeah. So if we've got $2 per lead, we've got $7, we're going to get between three and four leads a day, which is which is enough to for you to handle the speed. You don't want to get 50 leads in a day because you're not going to be able to call all of them in a timely manner. And the timely manner matters. So spreading it over seven days is good. Mm -hmm. $50 is a good budget. You don't have to go that much. If your budget is 20, go ahead and do it. You're just going to get maybe 10 leads because okay. the cost per lead won't really change that much. Um, but I found that this this kind of format works well in my markets. It may be different here. I've, I've, I've only run a few seller campaigns over this side. So we're going to click save. Then we're going to do a double check. So we're going to look for spelling errors. So we've got for sale, 325, North Point, Florida, three beds, two baths. Large yard is the feature. We've got welcome to this beautiful home in the heart of North Port, Florida. This exceptional property boasts an open floor plan complete with cathedral dot, dot, dot. Just listed North Port. Click learn more to see 30 plus pics, maps, and info. That's showing them there's more behind this button. Mm -hmm. And we've got form on Facebook, which we know we've got the right lead ad. So but it doesn't show form on Facebook on the actual ad. It does. It does? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. It's cool because people are happy with that. Okay. They don't want to go to a website right. for their information. In. So audience size matters. If you don't target correctly, Wait your a audience size matters. Did you just say size slow. matters? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> audience size Audience size matters. matters. Yeah. So specific audience, broad. We want to be in this green band which were on the nice specific side of it. That's because we've chosen certain targeting, but there's enough people, 131,600 could reach, we could reach. Now for $50, we're not gonna reach them all, mm -hmm. but there's 131,600 people who match this criteria in this area who we are looking to deliver an ad to. So everything looks good. So then you go ahead and publish. I won't click it because it'll spend money, but you click the publish campaign here and mm -hmm. you are good to go. And this will get you Higher quality, lower number of, but higher quality leads because of the price point and the description of the property being revealed. So it's a little more advanced than just doing a basic ad. If you do the standard features, it'll just have the description, no price, no yeah. area, no beds, baths. You won't have a call to action on it. It's not going to work, right? right? This works. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Save right. that draft because I am going to use this. Okay. Thank you. I just had the pro create the ad for me. I thought I knew a lot about Facebook ads until I met Peter, and he is a dynamo when it comes to this stuff. 
Cool. Right. So I want to go uh, stop screen share now. Okay. Let's so go to StreamYard. Go here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then I'll uh, just pull that down. Stop screen. Yeah. There you go. There we go. And we're back. Have you got blue eyes? I, uh, they're the greeny blue. They're right? hazel. Hazel. Yeah. yeah oh. they're hazel. They look blue. It must be the light. It's the light there. behind me. My dad has blue eyes. My dad's 81 this year, I think. And he has amazing blue eyes still. And my son got those blue eyes from him. Ah, that's cool. You know what you do inherit from your grandfather? What's that? Hair. Yeah. If you're going to go bald, my granddad, yeah. mm -hmm, not good. No, my, nope. my he had a few tufts left when he was about 79, 80 years old. My dad still has a pretty full head of hair. It's, you know, it's gotten thinner as he's gotten older, but he's still got all his hair. Mine's thinning rapidly. <laughs> I, I noticed like when I train because of the way I have the training room set up, I have a camera oh, over no. my shoulder that shows it's the classroom shine, shining. Beefy. And I can see it's not shining, but I can see it's thin back there. <laughs> well, my, mine went, I would say in the last year. Yeah. And it's pretty rapid. The tufty fine hair goes first, mm -hmm. leaving just the, you know, it's not, it's not, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to do hymns. I'm not going to buy not? those. No, cause it, cause it, because it doesn't restore it. Unless you keep using it, yeah. If you, the second you stop using it, it, all just falls out again. So, well, I mean, you know, we're get we're getting ready to launch courses. You'll 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 baseball be fine. cap. You'll be fine. A baseball cap. <laughs> that's the answer. That's also people say that that's also what causes it. <laughs> well, I've never really worn one. So yeah, I I wear them a lot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get a nice baseball cap, <laughs> probably with KW right in the front of it. So well, when I'm walking does, around the store, if it does start to go out, just promise me that you'll go full bald and not do the freaking ring around your head. I can't stand that. Do you remember when everybody used to do the ring right here? Yeah, I got a friend who has the ring. So he basically <laughs> has a band of hair around the back of yeah. the side. Yeah, you know, you know, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Do you know that movie? <sighs> Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So yeah, it's one of I mean, my. I haven't seen it for fifty years, but yeah, <laughs> it's one of my all-time favorite movies. And there's a scene where he, you know, he's the an English inventor. accents very bad in that, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. Wasn't it an American? <laughs> yeah, it was Dick, Dick Van, Van Dyke. Dyke. Yeah, yeah. His accent is terrible. There yeah. were English actors. Oh yes, in it, yeah, they're yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah. obviously. Um, all right, mate. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Cockney that was governor. that was his <laughs> father. <laughs> his father um had that really he was the one that said all that stuff but anyway so there's this one scene where he invented this hair cutting machine that's attached to a bicycle and everybody's excited about how it works so he keeps pedaling faster and faster and faster and the dude's head starts to smoke and when he takes the thing off his head he burned a ring in his head so there's hair right in the middle on top and then just around the sides sounds anyway Made me think of that. I love Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. What can I say? Chitty 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 Bang Bang. We love you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I haven't seen that since like 1972 or something, whenever it came when out. When it came out. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Cool. So right. I'm the commander. Is that back. everything? That's everything for today. All right. Awesome. Uh, I just went crazy there. Okay. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, please feel free to uh, put them in YouTube or Facebook. And we will address them. We have just a, no, we are kind of at our time. But if you do have them, you want to get them in real quick, we can address them. And we will certainly follow up with them in the group or on the YouTube channel. Uh, we appreciate you spending time with us as always. And we want to let you know that if you are not engaged with your office, you don't know who your market center tech trainer is, if you don't have a market center if tech trainer. If you're in the safe harbor group, it's me. Yeah, so that's true. Just yes. make sure everyone Those knows Those five that. offices are yes. this guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're yep. in, if you're in, I'm gonna have to name them all now: Jupiter, Treasure Coast Office, Palm Beach Gardens, Port St. Lucie, and Vero, Vero. Beach. Yeah. That is our nearly 1,000 agents. That's awesome. So feel free to reach out. I'm on free free techconsultation.com. I don't roll my R's because I'm not Scottish or American. <laughs> free techconsultation.com. <laughs> awesome. So that's where you can find Peter. And uh, but like I was saying, if you are with a Keller Williams office and you're not sure who your market center and tech trainer is, please reach out to us. We will get you connected with them. If you don't have one, then you most certainly have a regional tech trainer and we will get you in touch with them as well. And if you're just disconnected, you can reach out to us and we want to do our best to get you connected with your office because that is where all the culture 
and the thriving and all of that takes place is by being connected with your office and we would love to help facilitate that for you but we are always here for you you can always ask questions at any time in the facebook group um which we actually got a question yesterday that i'm gonna be mctt's unleashed facebook yes group. Yep. mctt's unleashed you can just search that in facebook um, but we got a question in there yesterday that i'm gonna address when we get done here um so as always thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time bye bye